Good management of factual information is vital and data should be organised in a logical manner. This might sound like a simplistic statement, but the retrieval and updating of information will consume far more time than necessary unless some important guidelines are kept in mind. Keep all the data in a master file. Have clearly identified files within the master file. Clearly identify the source of all information. Keep contact emails and phone numbers associated with sources of information. Include references to relevant company documents, electronic or otherwise, that were valid at the time of the event. It is amazing how many times documentation can be amended over the course of an investigation. Particular care needs to be taken with engineering documents, which are sometimes very complex. The investigation file must be secure and access must be strictly limited. In the case of draft reports, keep track of who is working on what section and at what time. All computer files should be backed up. All updated information must be clearly dated and do not discard older versions too prematurely. Keep a record of any information that did not directly contribute to the incident as the omission of that information might give the impression that the investigation team has forgotten something. Effective correlation of data from several different sources allows the investigator to see the interaction of various events that were occurring at the same time or in the same place. Presentation of factual information from several sources can be managed in various ways. Radar plots, for example, can be used to identify a range of inputs from different sources, such as ATC transcripts, DVR recordings, aircraft status reports, or cockpit warnings, which can all be marked against a plot of the aircraft's flight position. In this case, careful synchronisation of the data is required to validate the correct sequence of events. For example, accurate synchronisation ensures that an event such as an engine fire warning is superimposed on the radar plot, identifying the aircraft position when it occurred and the timing in relation to any other significant event such as a radio call, for example. Flight data analysis readouts, such as the one here, indicate the value of several parameters such as pitch, barometric altitude, selected airspeed and control column position, amongst other parameters which can then be compared at various times and aircraft altitude. A simple time-ordered event line can be used in less complicated situations to plot known events at the times and over the time intervals they occurred. An expanded timeline, such as the one shown here, allows the investigator to examine the total event sequence in terms of what events were occurring simultaneously and what events may have masked or interfered with other events. This is an example of a timeline capture of events that can be recorded into an Excel spreadsheet. In this case, actors one, two, and three, and so on, on the vertical scale, could be people, places, or events, which are significant at various times indicated at the top from left to right. You will note that the source of the information and the location where it occurred can be included as well, as well as any other information that might be relevant at the time. For example, actor one might be the captain, who activates the approach as per the information source, which on this occasion is the flight data recorder, which occurred at time, say, 0143. Other information that might be relevant could be that the captain stated in his interview that he was feeling fatigued at this time. This time analysis spreadsheet is particularly useful for complicated events when many things might be happening in the same time frame or when many actors are taking part or the actors are in several locations at once. The time analysis spreadsheet was particularly useful on one occasion when investigating a clinical event when several doctors, nurses and other personnel were moving between various locations within a hospital whilst other events were occurring in several of the locations. Presentation of data on the analysis spreadsheet meant that the investigators did not have to remember who was where and when. 
and information was immediately available using this method of data presentation. Radar plots, flight data recorder readouts, time ordered event lines, and time analysis spreadsheets are just some examples of the tools that an investigator can use to organize and manage data.